Okay, one for the ladies and mares. Open chase here over two miles, three furlongs and naught to 100. Middleton Sunrise for Alex Cherry looking for a double, the favourite. Two is Deep Miss for Doug One. Three, Human Five for Stu Gray. Four, Viking Girl for Darren House. Five, Business Lady for Alex Cherry. Six, Rose Park for Stu Gray. Seven, Active Roby One. Eight, Darling of Dionysus for Martin Needham. And nine is Deep Shanghai for Doug Warren. These girls are going to race over two miles and three furlongs. They're already away. Bursting out of the pack is Middleton Sunrise to lead them over the first. Everybody jumped that quite well. All bar active for Obi One of the rear was a little bit slow. So it's the cherry horses of Sunrise and Middleton Sunrise and Business Lady that are going to lead us. From the grey poking his head out now, Viking Grey. He gets the second. And again, we've got that little bit of a strange jumping going on. But it's Middleton Sunrise and Business Lady. Well, two of the rear at the moment are Active and Rose Park. Chaps of the Corbett course is uh, a little bit weird. On some of the fences, they all get over the fourth. And it's still Middleton Sunrise and Business Lady. By a couple to Business, sorry, to Human Fire, Deep Miss and Deep Shanghai. And our Warren Horses, the Grey Viking Girl for Darren Howes. Martin Leedham's Darling of Dionysus is next. And then a length or so back to Active and Rose Park. They go over the fifth, all still on their feet. Uh, Middleton Sunrise is pulling them, um, pulling them, stretching them out here, should I say. From business Lady, they both get over the six. And on right of the rear now is Rose Park, and he's a couple of lengths detached from the main pack, and probably 15 lengths from the starts, the, the leader. So it's Middleton Sunrise and Business Lady by about five, back to Deep Miss, Human Five and Viking Girl. And the length or so back to Darling of Dioris is Deep Shanghai and Active. Right at the rear of Rose Park, probably shouldn't even be in there in the race. So up front is still Middleton Sunrise, as I said, stretch the field completely out here with Business Lady. And about six pack to Deep Miss, Viking Girl the Grey. And the length of Darling of Dionysus Active Human Five and Deep Shanghai. And we can't see Rose Park anymore. There's still a mile and a quarter to travel. There's still another ten fences to take. And we'll get over the eighth including Rose Park I imagine. But it's Middleton Sunrise and Business Lady. Cherry looking for a quick fire double here. We'll take the ninth, so halfway through the fences now. And we've still got a, well over a mile to travel. You can just see the shadow of Rose Park getting into the picture. The leaders are over it. And there's the rest. It's still Middleton Sunrise. Business Lady. Still can't see Rose Park. Uh, five fences to jump, and it's been Wilton Sunrise being joined by Business Lady now. These two are taking each other on. Stable mates get to the 14th. They both jump it while they land together. Most of the pack are over it. He's got probably a 10 length advantage here, these two are inside the five now. It's Middleton Sunrise and Business Lady into the 15th. Well, not poor jump there by Business Lady, won't do him any favours, but Middleton Sunrise has pulled further away now as they take this left hand turn. Line up for the next. It's Middleton Sunrise by four to Business Lady, and then a further five back to Darling of Dionysus, Viking Girl, Active Human Five. Deep Shanghai and Deep Miss trying to run on Rose Park in the screen now, but we're inside the three and it's Middleton Sunrise. Still, by four, it's a business lady. Darling of Dionysus is trying to come into the, the advantage by the leaders now. An active and human five running on well. So up front, it's Middleton Sunrise, but going to get joined, joined now by Darling of Dionysus. It's going to challenge first. And also coming out of the pack is Obi Wan's active. We've only got a furlong to go and it's Darling of Dionysus gets over that one better and starts to pull away from the rest of the field inside the final furlong and he got one to jump and as he gets over it he's taken this running on really well now it's Rose Park out wide he jumps it easily Darling of Dionysus just going to hang on there's no run in here Darling of Dionysus takes it from Middleton Sunrise Rose Park was third I think Business Lady got up for fourth so a win there for Martin Leader with Darling of Dionysus Takes it. Second was Middleton Sunrise. Third was Rose Park for Stu Gray. Fourth was Business Lady for Alex Cherry. And fifth was Human Five for Stu Gray. <laughs>